So one of the things you're able to do with the Audi A1 is really customise it actually quite easily. I mean some of the other cars like the Fiat 500 are obviously renowned for being you're able to customise them likewise with the Mini. But it's the same with the Audi A1. I mean in this car for example this was actually the base model car so these were matte black and these simply pull off and new ones push in a different colours white, blue, piano black even wasabi green, red you can change the gear knob and the gator which I did to a quattro model which I got off eBay brand new from Germany centre console here you can be different colours white, piano black, green, red I changed the pedals to pedals off a of Golf GTI which fitted exactly the same um, I changed the steering wheel for um, more of a leather two-tone desk line one and uh, there's a host of things you can do you can actually change the seats as well from standard uh, stock fabric seats to two-tone leather S-line sports seats uh, part leather part cloth there's a host of things you can do granted it doesn't stand out as much as like you could customize a mini with you know the British checkered flag or bright colors the changes you can do are more subtle but there is room there to make to make some sort of changes just to improve the kind of you know appearance and look and individuality of the car I think for me there was a, a couple of cars I would quite like to try in comparison to the A1. Um, it's a very short list. I think the first is a Mini Cooper. Um, definitely a Mini. Popular though, quite a lot of people have them. And I quite like something with a little bit of individuality. I do like the Alfa Romeo Mito Cloverleaf especially, 155 brake horsepower, would like an Alfa Mito. They really do stand out and I like the fact you've got the nice grille at the front and then the number plate off to the left slightly, just gives it a very unique look. I think they're a car that when you see, they really do stand out for being quite unique. They've got a little switch down in the console here as well. So you have free driving modes, normal mode, all weather mode, and dynamic mode. But the negative side to the Alpha is you never quite know about their reliability and how durable they are. And I think as well the other thing, a lot of reviews were saying with the Alpha was the um, the ride was never quite right even in all weather mode, normal mode or dynamic mode there was always something somebody wasn't quite happy with maybe the steering wasn't quite sharp enough or the um, you know the throttle response wasn't quite there and also the interior quality wasn't up to the match of an Audi so yeah so for me two or three cars Mini Cooper, Alfa, Alfa Romeo Mito failing that a Fiat 500 um, Sport or entering into the Abar 500, Abar 595. So, yeah, one German, two Italians. But anyway, back to the A1. So, I like the A1, it's a nice car, it feels smooth, um, the brakes are brilliant, the steering's nice and responsive. Um, even though I've got the low profile 17 inch wheels on. Uh, the ride's actually still smooth. Yeah, I really do find that it, it copes with the bumps. But it's bearing in mind that I don't have the sport suspension. I just have the regular suspension of the uh, normal bog standard SE A1. 
So my suspension's a little bit softer, which means I can absorb the bumps a bit easier with having the 17 inch low profile tires. Well, it's a nice car, it's a nice place to be in. The MMI system's brilliant with the screen. So just going through some of the features on this particular car, obviously we've got the MMI system, which you can actually hook up to your laptop. Um, one of the things you can do is insert an SD card, which I quite like doing because you can attach a your own photograph to a particular song, which I do. Um, really handy. Obviously, you've got the menu system. You have various options. Various options of going into the car settings, vehicle settings, drive assist, checking when your last service was. Various things like that. Obviously, the engine needs to be running for that particular mode. Information, media, radio, tune, and then you can also extend that to include uh, navigation um, and telephone as well uh, via the controls on the steering wheel. And the controls as well feel very high quality, nice spinny dials, nice tactile clicking. Um, all the information comes across very clear and um, high quality. So car comes with start stop as well, which you can switch on and switch off. But I tend to leave it on because uh, I personally really like it. Uh, works works very very well. You literally just breathe on the clutch, bang the engines starting up. So it's really good. I've also got a um, camera mounted which looks out the front here and then I've also got a camera in the back which looks out the back so what this is doing is recording at the front recording at the back for video evidence cases and accident so generally spec wise it's, it's really nice you get air conditioning traction control off and on and then I've still got nice quattro gear knob and armrest I've installed which goes up and down with plenty of cover space. So generally speaking it's a nice place it's a nice place to be.